Why'd they chain you here? I didn't like old Greta. No, but I didn't want his death. Free me, please. I was framed for murder. Hmm. Yes, I believe you. Thanks. I won't forget this. I've no way to pay you, but if we ever meet again, I'll get you back for what you've done. Can you walk? Don't fret about me. I just need to rest a spell. Then I'll be fine. Thank you for your help. Never mind me. Just need a bit of rest. Thank you for your help. smashed in a storm. Someone chopped it open with an axe.
Come on. Come on, Roach. Come on now. You're not growing any younger, Grannis. You must pass your knowledge on. I'm no trick and must get you in spawning ground. Please with yourself, murderer.
want to talk to you. But I do not wish to speak. Leave. You distress me. You seem a nice enough guy. Well, I'm not. A plan never to be. I became a druid to avoid others. To not have to deal with them. Not to smile when I don't wish to. To feign compassion when someone's travails matter less to me than a pair of birch cones. So I shall be straight. Get out of my sight. Before something, I know not what, deprives you of yours. I want you to share your knowledge. Teach me alchemy. You? <laughs> my apprentice? <laughs> That's rich. While you're at it, why did you ask Uderic if they'll share Spickerog with you? I'm serious. <laughs> Is that so? Don't make me laugh. I've devoted my life to alchemy. Sun, literary. Spent countless days and nights with nothing but alembics, choking on fumes, scorching my skin with acids. If you think I'll simply portray to you what I learned through years of sacrifice and toil, then you're mistaken. Deeply. I'd be a good student. Doubtful. You can't even grasp the simple notion that I want you to leave. Hmm. The way I'm preparing to perform a rather tricky ritual. So I could use some help. Even yours. I require three favors. Do them for me. And I shall accept you as my apprentice. Well, well. There's a way after all. Get off your high horse and listen. First, you must bring me a pimpernel from the Muskogan forest. Second, I need a bottle of spirit from the old distillery on Hale Hill. Finally, convince Fridjof to help me perform the rite. He's a druid like I am. You'll find him near Blandara. I believe he's there on a matter of some import. So, what will it be? Hmm. Pimpernel. As far as I know, it's got no use in alchemy apart from... Would you teach your grandmother to suck eggs? It's not any Pimpernel, but the one that grows in the Moscowden forest. And if the rumors are true, a creature jealously guards all the herbs growing there. Forest creature jealously guarding some secrets? Sounds familiar. Spirit. Why do you need that? As you must know, potential apprentice. Alcohol is the base for all potions. Superior alcohol means a higher quality potion. This spirit has no equal. Its strength, its flavor. Unfortunately, the distillery atop Hale Hill has fallen into disrepair. We've lacked a source ever since. But you'll manage somehow, won't you? You're so confident. This Fritjof, who is he? A Vader maker, huh? You don't know the word, do you? And I pledge to make you my apprentice. A Vader maker is a druid who can manipulate the weather, stop a storm, cause hail, make lightning turn your enemy to ash. I advise to address him with the utmost respect, if you value your life. All right, I'll do it. But this ritual you want to perform, what's that about? If you wish to be my apprentice, you must stop asking questions. I decide what to tell you and what to do it. Now go, chop chop, before I change my mind. I've told you what you must do. Why do you still bother me? Wanted to ask you something. Not only are you as ugly as a toad, but you have the memory of a goldfish. Well, what is it? You're asking a lot. Let me think about it. Figure out if helping you is worth the trouble.
Richard. Oi, step over here. Heard you calling. Aye, because I was. I thank Mother Nature she didn't skimp on my voice as she did with some others I know. See, one of us, a gill, went mute all of a sudden. No spell or potion helps him. But it is said strong emotions and experiences can restore speech. So I thought perhaps you might... I'll pay you, of course. It'd give you an excellent Gwent card. Suppose I could try, but I wouldn't even know where to start. You want me to scare him? Aye, good, good. That should do it. Scare, irritate, whatever you wish, provided you do him no harm. You can usually find a gill near the hallowed oak. Poor man, he's probably praying in his heart for a cure. Silent druid? Oh, yeah. Dumb question. When do you lose your voice? Can you show me? Hold up some fingers? Oh, charming man. They ever try to cure you some other way? Give you potions or herbs? Not just mute. Seems he's deaf, too. Doesn't look like we'll figure much out talking. So long. <sighs> Tin pots. Stand to make a lot of noise. Maybe give him a smack once he's asleep. Hornet's nest. Known to have therapeutic uses. In shock therapy, for instance. say something if I put out his fire. Break my vow. Happy? Oh, sorry. Someone tricked me, I thought. Boo hoo hoo! My deepest sympathies! Now get out of my sight, you imbecile! seen a continental here <coughs> in a long while. <laughs> Heard him screaming clear over here. Grand work, Witcher. Your reward as promised. How about that? Beard down to his waist and a toddler's sense of humor. <laughs> Good luck to you. You look 
Weary white hair. Shoulder with a witcher. Samel looks abandoned. This means left of the lumberjacks.
approach. Come on now. Help me! What's going on? Someone hit you? No, 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 quiet. Or she'll hear. Who'll hear? My beloved. Beautiful as the morn and sweet as linen honey. Her grace, so delightful. <laughs> Don't seem all that delighted to me. Where is this beloved of yours? There in the depths. Wake up by the gods! You're maybe not doing it. Oh, a sweet heart. Fresh and scrumptious. Tell me a rhyme, then you'll get a prize, or a beating. Huh. You're as lovely as... As what? As what? As rotten meat. And you're a monster, and I kill monsters. <sighs> ran off. Can't say I blame him. Still, someone picked the bloom recently. Aha, uh -huh. another seeker of Pimpernel. Another? Gremist has sent countless young druids into the forest. They emerged drained with a blank stare, and with no flower. And they never speak of what happened. I've asked Gremis to stop the folly. He looked at me and laughed. But the fun's over. One of our novices, Ramond, has failed to return. I've come to find him, alive or dead. What do you know about this forest? Not much. Funny, isn't it? A druid should know every tree, every bush. That even we know not to venture to some parts of the isle. We can subdue animals, but not monsters. And the word is, one has made its lair here. A lesion? An axibrim? Sadly, I don't know. As I said, those who have entered do not speak of who or what they saw. 
Listen, you're looking for a druid, I'm looking for a flower. Let's go in together. Why not? I could use the help of a tracker. Lead the way. Flower. No petals. Hoof prints. But a bipeds. Someone buried him, not skillfully, but with great care. Lots of scratches. None look lethal, though. Body's dried out as if it was drained. I know him. It's Yara the White of Care Trolder. He died far from home. Others faded, all leading in the same direction. Oh, no, no, oh, stop, please. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is great. No, no, stop, please. Stop it, that tickles. Oh, who can play this game, you horny goat woman? Unhand him, hellish creature. Ramond, step away from her. Ah, calm down. I've not been harmed. I came here. You don't know what you're saying. She's cast a spell on you. We saw what happens to those who land in this beast's embrace. We saw Yara's body. Then you saw I buried his body as custom dictates. I did not seek his death. He, he was very old. 
His heart was weak. I warned him it could end that way, but he kept returning. I see through your lies. Your wretched charm won't work on me. I shall kill you here and now, monster. I don't see any reason to kill her. She's a monster, sure, but a sentient one, and basically harmless. No such thing. Just as there's no dry water, no cold fire. But if you'll not help, very well. I shall tend to her myself. I'd advise against it. I will return. With one who does not carry a sword for show. Why did you take my side? I'm afraid you'll be sorely disappointed. I don't generally couple with witches, especially not out of gratitude. Tell me why not. Is it the scars? I detest when a man smells of blood. You witches always reek of it. Fiend blood, chort blood, and these are my brethren. You're right. But unlike fiends and chorts, you... Have ample breasts and a pretty face? I know. Their lack of these attributes. Is that what makes them easy to kill? It's a bit more complicated than that. But never mind. No means no, I get it. Can't think of another way you can repay me. I'm looking for Pimpernel. You know this forest. Maybe you could help me. I shall take you myself. And you, Ramund, go pick some more violets. Just the indigo ones this time. Uh, indigo? You mean blue? No. Indigo is indigo. <sighs> Men. Every man on the Why you need all these the flowers? Place. Nosy, aren't you? Wait and see. Pretty, don't you think? Bellflowers, violets, king cups, pimpernels. I must pick some edelweiss. Take one, but no more. I've put a lot of work into making this cavern cozy. Go! So fast, Roach.
left. Got me eye on you. So what can Once I, I begin that your You must all enter your home. Shut the window. Lock the doors. I don't like this. Shouldn't be risking your life for us. Do as you say. 
and then they make worms here. Look like they make goat cheese some grass. You, Fritjof? That's right. And what do they call you, Witcher? Me? Drifter, stranger, mutant. Sometimes even by my name. Geralt of Rivia. Huh. A man with a sense of humor. I like that. Well, what can I do for you, Geralt of Rivia? Gramist wanted me to summon you. Need you to help him perform a ritual. A ritual? Will this one stop him from being a mean old goat? I would go see him. For old time's sake, but I have more important matters on my mind. Look about you. The ground. See how dry it is. It's not rained for weeks. The grass and the pastures has withered. Sheep are starving. I must bring rain. But fear that... Wait just a moment. Perhaps you could help me. How? I'm a man of many talents, but manipulating the weather is not one of them. I have in mind a different skill involving your sword. You see, Mother Nature dislikes it when you take something from her by force. She will defend herself. So fiercely, in fact, that I could use a defender myself. What do you say? Sure, I'll help. Provided you go see Gremist afterwards. Agreed. Now follow me. Time for a little storm. Sacrifice. Should we burn folk at the stake as they do on the continent? Better a sacrifice of goats and sheep, I think. Tend to your own mouth. Skooka! Swarm! Fatna! Hala! not managed a storm that fine for ages. Did you see the drops? The size of eggs. A little busy tending to the foglets. They weren't small either. Ah yes, unfortunately they always emerge. But perhaps that's for the best. For the best? Why? If manipulating the weather carried no risks, it'd not give me peace. Make it rain, make the sun shine. Some would want storms, others a sea calm as a pond frozen over. This way folk petition me only when their need is great, not because they've had a whim. I get it. There are times I wish I didn't have to chase this necker or that drowner. Will you go see Gremis now? With pleasure. After a storm of those proportions, I shall gladly have her to help him with his ritual. Till then.
they've battled in worse weather than this. Did everything you asked. Phenomenal, my boy! So, Fritjof, shall we begin? The sooner the better. We've a long night ahead of us. The ritual is only for members of the inner circle. Thus, my dear apprentice, you must wait outside. Under no circumstances must you enter. We shall begin your tutelage come morn. Will you finally tell me what the ritual's about? Nay, nay. No one likes a matter. Suffice to say, it's a burning matter now. Shoot! Must have another. That's good stuff. Aye, as the base from Moose Gordon and spare from here, hell. Good times, Fritjof. <laughs> good times. Finally, something other than damn potions and transmutations. Guess the ritual's not over yet. Good. I thought I told you to sh stay outside. Only turns in the inner circle. Sharkle Smirkle, let the boy have some fun. He's earned it. <laughs> Fine. Pour yourselves on. Gerd, let the lessons begin. Drink hard and study hard. I like the idea. Yeah, yeah. I call it stimulation and assimilation. First you stimulate, and then <laughs> you assimilate. A shut down. <laughs> Let's start with ingesting toxins. Best approach, practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. I've practiced a lot already. Good thing. I'll make learning my secret method easier. Look, you take the potion like this and gulp. <laughs> 